Okay. My name is Kendra Pinto and I am from the Eastern Agency of the Navajo Nation from a small rural area locally known as Twin Pines. I grew up in Twin Pines and I've spent a majority of my life there. Within the past few years there has been a shift in how the land is seen and treated. The shift has directly affected our air. Driving northbound on Highway 550 between Bloomfield and Cuba, you can look along the horizon and witness a one-of-a-kind display of nature. Displayed before you sits mountains located in Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona all in one glance. The Rocky Mountains, La Plata Mountains, and the Chishka Mountains are some of the most prominent, each carrying its own unique history. The scene, no doubt, incredibly beautiful, but wait, that's not all. Mixed with this portrait of scenery is a cloud, a yellow hazy cloud that can be seen in the distance, fogging your ability to see the landscape in its natural form. The smog, now prominent, more prominent and sadly less shocking to see. How do I put into words the pain so many feel when they look upon the lands and see man-made waste littered in either the soil or the air? In my community, we are seeing metal forcefully placed upon the lands. Pipes and barrels carrying oil and natural gas that pose a threat to the people of Chaco Canyon Valleys and beyond. The methane cloud found above the Four Corners by NASA in 2014 tells us there is something wrong. We cannot and should not continue to feed poison into the air. I have personally seen the gases leaking from wildheads with the aid of an infrared camera. Videos of the leaks from oil well sites to the Chaco area can be found online. This is particularly alarming to my people, my community, and my family because we are in danger. We are at risk. The strong odor of natural gas can be detected by local residents who make their way to and from work and school. We pass through these clouds on a daily basis. I'm here to say reducing methane emissions is a start in the right direction for the good of the people. Allowing the oil and gas industry to continue harming the people and the environment will not pay off in the future. Our children and grandchildren will bear the weight of our decisions. We must think of them when the topic of leaking gases is before us and the decision to help or destroy their future is made. Prolonging the exposure of escaping gases from oil well pumps will be fatal for my community and many others across the country living next to this danger. We have had an increase in illnesses in the council area that include asthma and cancer. This has pushed us locally to begin looking at the health of people who are surrounded by oil and gas extraction. Air testing in Counselor and Lybrick show unsafe levels of dangerous, volatile organic compounds known to harm humans. Elevated levels of hydrogen sulfide near an elementary school is not okay with me, and it should not be okay with a department whose mission statement says it will protect human health and the environment. Mother Earth is not harming us. Man-made fossil fuel extractors are. 